they found a vehicle, insecure vehicle, in the lane that you see behind us, uh, and they uh, found the bodies of the deceased at the rear of the vehicle, lying on the ground. Was it a very distressing scene? Um, any scene that you go to uh, with children involved is distressing, and it was distressing for the officer that attended, yes, but we've given them support, and they continue to receive that support today, and we've offered support to uh, many other members of the public that have been affected by this. Do we know how the family came to be in the area? They were visiting relatives in Andover itself, which is nearby. Who were they visiting? It was the, uh, the uh, father of Mr Pedersen, the grandfather of the children. And were the children reported missing by their mother? Um, there was a call to Surrey Police uh, because they hadn't returned at, seven, at five o'clock uh, yesterday evening. Um, the call was received just after 7pm yesterday evening uh, to Surrey. Uh, by that time we'd uh, identified the vehicle here in Hampshire and we quickly liaised with colleagues in Surrey, uh, which is where we started to uh, piece together what we'd found here. Do we know um, how they died? when they died? Um, exactly when, I don't know. It would have been at some stage yesterday afternoon uh, and as I've said, uh, fatal stab wounds. What sort of support is their mother receiving at the moment? Uh, trained family liaison officers from Hampshire and from Surrey uh, are currently with uh, many members of the family uh, to try and help them and support them and to signpost them to other agencies that can help and to keep them updated with the nature of the investigation. And in terms of the investigation that's yes. ongoing at the moment, um, can you repeat to us, are you looking for anyone else? No, I'm not looking for anybody else uh, in connection with this. Does it look as though the father committed suicide? Uh, at the moment, we, we await the result of the Home Office post-mortem, uh, but at the moment that's uh, what my train of thought is, yes. Was he inside the car? Uh, no, as I've said, uh, they were all outside the vehicle. Was the father known to Surrey Police or Surrey Social Services? Um, We've referred to uh, Surrey Police in relation to this and they are considering um, a, a referral to the IPCC. Could and you talk through the, the movements of the father and the children as you understand them? As um, in very basic terms, it was a visit to Andover to visit relatives uh, and then the intention was to return back to uh, Surrey where the children come from and take them back to their mum. I take it other family estranged? The uh, the yes, they are, yes. Were they divorced? Uh, I'm not sure of that in exact detail. And you want to try and trace members of the public, any witnesses who saw anything? Um, the issue here is you, you can see it's very isolated. Um, and uh, there was a, a person walking yesterday evening that alerted us to the presence of the vehicle. Uh, but as you can see behind me, I don't anticipate that there would be many of the members of the public about that would have seen anything. And of course, if they have, then, then please get in, cont in contact with us. You mentioned there the IPCC, what exactly are they now looking at? Uh, well the family come from Surrey and that's an issue uh, for the police to, do, to refer to the IPCC. Was the father known to have depressive thoughts and be unstable? Well, uh, part of our investigation is to actually establish exactly what went on and at this stage it's just too early to say. Does he usually have uh, custody over weekends or weekend visits? I don't have that uh, level of detail at the moment. Surrey Police, with the family's relationship with them, does that mean then that they were known to the police or to social services? Um, all I can say is that consideration is being given to referring to the IPCC and I, as you know, I can't comment beyond that. Does he have any other children? Uh, yes, he does. And uh, are they uh, what, full brothers and sisters, half brothers? I'm um, not entirely, sh entirely sure what the relationship is, but of course we are with those other members of the family as well. Were they on a walk and they just happened to come across? Yes, the and that, that is the, the, the short of it, yeah, long and the short of it. And can you at all describe the scene that they came across? Um, very tragic. Uh, and as I've said, you know, when children are involved in any scene like this, uh, I don't think that depth of detail is necessary at the moment. But it was a, a stabbing, you were saying? We believe that the children died from fatal stab wounds, yeah. Sounds very tragic very tragic yeah I, can, I can't think of any better words to describe it than tragic it's uh, 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 a dreadful loss of life uh, all around uh, one of the most tragic cases I think we've ever had to deal with and do you believe the father died from total stab wounds as well uh, I says, as I say the home office post-mortem will help us um, but I have said that I think he took his life 
after uh, the children had died.